What's up, everybody? This is Hector Tech Preacher. So welcome to another episode of me reacting to my own videos. So in this episode, I want to react to a video that I did back in 2021. As you know, I started my YouTube channel in 2015. And as I started my YouTube in 2015, I have almost 3,000 videos. A lot of videos don't get posted on YouTube. A lot of videos that I make get canceled or I got it uploaded, but it's sitting in a listed and or some of them just sitting in my members only. So in this video, I want to react to a video that I should have posted that I did in 2021. Uh, it was a refresh rate tester between devices. I never posted this video. So we are going to watch this video. You guys get to check this video out for the first time and I'm gonna give you my reaction about it. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. I don't know why I didn't drop this video. I made this video back in 2021. As of me recording this video in 2024, I have over 50 videos that I've made that I never posted uh, public on YouTube. Now they're sitting in my members only or they're sitting in my unlisted and I never posted it. I don't know why. Let's go to check this video out, right? And this video is me <laughs> uh, doing a refresh rate tester on devices. So let's go. What's up everybody? This is like the tech preacher. So let's have us some fun. Let's talk about refresh rates. Most people that's buying high price devices want either 90 Hertz or 120 Hertz refresh rates. We see a lot of companies put variable refresh rates on devices to get good battery life, but get that buttery smooth scroll. Well, I got a couple of devices here that has 120 Hertz. Plus I have a device here, the Z Fold 2, that has a 60 hertz cover display and 120 hertz uh, in the display. I got the LG Wing here. Oh, my LG Galaxy Wing. Oh, S20 love Ultra, that device. Also 120 hertz. I got the Realme GT. This device right here has 120 hertz, a good, well spec device for a relatively cheap price. I love that the device. Galaxy S20 FE, 120 hertz. And I got the uh, OnePlus 9 Pro. We all know 120 hertz. Yeah. Galaxy S21 Ultra, 120 hertz. So fun fact, the S21 Ultra, I do not have that device no more. That was uh, a device I called Broomhilda. It was plagued with overheating. So I had an opportunity to get rid of that device and I got rid of it. I should, I might buy me another one though. I don't know. So in this video, we're going to run the, the uh, refresh rate tester and let y'all guys see what uh, the device is actually doing, if it's sitting or if you interacted with it. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'm clean shaven, as y'all guys know. I'm 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 doing the beard, right? So I'm doing the beard right now. But uh this video right here, man, I'm I'm clean shaven, man. Easy look good in that video, man. <laughs> you be surprised. <laughs> Sit back and relax. And, and get, get your, your popcorn, popcorn ready, ready and, and follow me on this journey. journey. Let's go. Oh, that's my old intro. I love that intro. I might bring that intro back, man. I love this intro, dog. Like for real. Oh, look. So here's one mistake I made, right? This is the default uh, title. I, I was supposed to add a title there. So, <laughs> so that go one mistake right there. And I made that mistake. What's up, guys? This is Eric back with another video. So let's have some fun. Let's have Galaxy some fun. Note 20 Ultra. Let's get into it. Uh, I got to I gotta and pull out my, my Note, Note 20 Ultra. Refresh rate tester. All right. And I got the Ruby GT, uh, 120 hertz. Let's open this. Look at, look at that. Oh, look at that wallpaper. I want y'all to look at that beauty. I love this wallpaper. I actually still got that wallpaper on my Realme GT right now. And let's get it to the display tester. Galaxy S20 FE. Uh, I love let's this phone to too, man. All right. Uh, OnePlus 9 Pro. Oh, one of my favorite right. phones. Let's open that up and let's get to the refresh tester. And right, we got the, the one, the, the Galaxy S21 Ultra. And let's get into hey, Galaxy S21 Ultra. Uh, it's a website. It's a web browser. Uh, so let's get into. Uh, uh oh, I'm having having some technical difficulties. Galaxy having some technical two. difficulties. And let's get into that. <laughs> having some technical difficulties. LG Wing. LG Wing. Oh. LG Wing. Uh, let's go on and put that. I love on. this phone. It's a I love the LG display. Wing. All right. So let's look at this. There we go. Look at that. Right. Now we're not interacting with the. So let let this. Let me explain this test, right? Um, what's the purpose of me doing the refresh rate tester? I've done this video in the past. What's the purpose of me doing a refresh rate tester? 
There are devices, companies claiming that some devices is 120 hertz when they're really not. There, there's companies out there that are saying devices is 90 hertz. They're really not. So what I do with devices, I test them out. As you know, some devices like the iPhone 16 Pro Max, right? The iPhone 16 series of devices uh, is capping out at 18 hertz. I'm sorry, 80 hertz instead of 120 hertz. Uh, and so this test, what this does is it tests the refresh rate of the device to make sure that it it is what it is. So this is why I do these tests. Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, and it's at 60 hertz. Yes. So 60 frames per second. And as you can see, the chop it is on the LG Wing. Don't know why it's LG do hertz. that. But it's so fun fact, right? And this is one of the reasons why I do this test. And a lot of people probably don't know this, and a lot of people probably... Uh, uh, slam the LG wing for this. LG tuned this device to go as low as 30 hertz. Well, guess what happened when you had 30 hertz? Uh, it, it's sometimes it gets choppy and it gets slow. So uh, using the device, even though it has a 670 processor in it or something, uh, but at 30 hertz, it everything appeared to be slow and choppy and stuff like that. Don't know why uh, the LG tuned that display down to 30 hertz um, on the 60 hertz refresh, on the 60 hertz panel. I don't know why, but it that's what they did. 60 hertz display. So when I'm not, when you don't interact with it, it drops the, down to, you know, 30 frames per second. But if you touch it, it could go up. Now you're going to start seeing things change. Well, I'm not going to touch that. Don't matter if I touch that, this is not going to change. But if I touch this, all right, now it's, it's going to change. And if I touch this, it's going to change, right? It's supposed to change. And, as, and as we're not going to change, change on that one. This, it's supposed to change. All right. Here it is. Not changing. So All what's, right, so, fun, go, what's so funny is that right, so here, uh, the, the Samsung tune devices that immediately after you stop interacting with the device, it start dropping. So you might be, you know, watching a movie or browsing the web, and you might be at 60 hertz. Uh, and the reason why is because a Samsung, if you're not interacting with the device, if you're not touching with the device, it goes quickly down to 60 hertz. Go. Galaxy Note 21 Ultra, when you interact with it, it, it goes up to 120, 120 frames per second. But it immediately drops down. So, like, as soon as you stop interacting with the device, it immediately stop, uh, drops. All right, here we go. OnePlus 9 Pro. Again, the OnePlus 9 Pro does the same thing. As soon as you stop interacting with the device, I mean, it drops it really fast. <laughs> so I say that to say this, is that when you're not interacting with a device it, and you're not doing too much with it, or if you're watching a YouTube video or something, not... Also, fun fact, right, uh, with this video, I knew I was going to do this reaction video, so I pulled out my shirt, right? <laughs> So I'm wearing the same shirt that I wore back in 2021. Day, I should have said that, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> Times out of 10, you watch it at 60 hertz, right? It still look good. Uh, <laughs> even if you're browsing a website, as soon as you take your hand off the display, it's, it goes it down. It drops it down to 60 <laughs> frames per second. So 99% of the time that you may believe that you are you know, looking at something at 120 hertz or even 90 hertz, nine times out of 10, you're looking at it at 60 hertz, right? Or 60 frames per second. So look at that, right? <laughs> even when you look at the Galaxy S21 Ultra, it's pretty interesting to see this. Now we had 120 frames and it's going to immediately start dropping. <laughs> Just like that. That's weird. So uh, the Galaxy S20 FE does not drop. Uh, so if you intact with it, you leave it alone or whatever. It so fun fact. Uh, and this is one of the reasons why I do this test. If you look at the S20 FE, it will never hit 120 hertz. This is one of the reasons why I do this test. It would go as high as 118, 119, but it don't hit 120 hertz. I could never get this device to hit 120 hertz, even though it's a 120 hertz display. Uh, and this is one of the reasons why I do this test, because somehow it was in tune. I mean, it's no big deal between... 119 and 120, but still, it's not a true 120 hertz. 
for some strange reason, is not 120 hertz. Doesn't drop. Also, the Realme GT, this device doesn't drop neither. So right, and the Realme GT is stuck at 120. It doesn't go down. It doesn't go up. It, it will always be at 120. Always will be at 120 frames. I Sometimes you don't get 120 frames on the Galaxy S20 FE. I've, I've been seeing it between 118 and 119. I don't usually see it go up to 120 frames where it's at 119, and it's dropping. So it usually stays between 118 and 119. I don't see it consistently consistently at 120 frames. Uh, frames per second so uh it's no gotcha moment here it's just having some fun i've done these videos in the past all right so the galaxy z fold 2 let's go and look at this when you open it up now you start to see something different you're going to see that it will jump to 120 yeah yes it, it's 120, second, 120 as you can see the edit display yeah, is 120 frames up to 120 frames yes second, right look at that okay now, what's so strange about this? And again, uh, you'll start seeing you'll start seeing the uh, it, it it start dropping immediately, right? You, you'll start seeing it drop immediately as soon as you take your hand off the device. Yeah, you'll start seeing it go, you know, drop to sixty frames per second immediately. Now, up here. It's what the browser doing is testing it from you know 30 hertz all the way up all to 120 way up to 120 frames. Yeah. So you can see the refresh rate at low FPS going all the way up to 120 FPS and stuff like that. So as you can see, it's dropping it down and going up and dropping it down and going up. And the, the key to success to a lot of these companies is that they want to be more close to the 60 uh frames per second or even the 30 frames per second if they can get it down to that part so it can save battery. Nine times out of ten, you're not even, you know, if you're not interacting with a device or you're not even doing anything with the phone, nine times out of ten, you're looking at it at 30, 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. So it's pretty interesting to see. Now, even though, uh, get back into this, even though the Galaxy S20 FE doesn't drop, right, even though the Galaxy S20 FE doesn't drop, one of the things that I'm not having any battery issues with this device, so I'm still getting really good battery life, uh, even though it does not drop to 60 hertz or, right. or 30 hertz or whatever. But let's go and talk about the LG Wing. Now, this is a 60 hertz panel, and as I touch the display, it goes down to 30. I don't know why not LG do that. Question: What about the, the bottom, bottom display? display? Let's see here. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's go here. All right. And it's saying it doesn't support. It, but yeah, there it goes. There it right? goes. So uh, turn that off. It's on YouTube. So as oh, you see man. the look at display, that. This, this, it's a 60 hertz. Listen, man, I absolutely love the LG Wing. I don't care what nobody say. People could call me all kinds of names. I don't care. The most innovative device of all times is the LG Wing. This is one of the reasons why I have two of them, I believe. This phone is so good. Uh, the only thing that I don't like about the LG Wing is battery life. The performance, I'm okay with the performance. I'm okay with a lot of things. The, the cameras are fantastic. Got gimbal mode and all that stuff. This is the most futuristic device of its time and of today's time. All right, so look at that. 60 frames per second, as you guys can see. All right, uh, and it's going up and down. And as soon as you stop interacting with it, it's dropping all the way down. Don't know why, though. Per 30 frames per and second. It gets it, really choppy. It do, and um, it, and it does. It starts getting choppy a little bit. Uh, the frames do drop a little bit. Uh, so when you look at it like that, let's go back and uh, look at that. All right, just having some fun, man. I just like to make these little fun videos every now and then. Uh, talk about refresh rates and stuff like that. So uh, I will leave the refresh rate link down in the description below if you want to try it out on your device and uh, give it a shot. But uh, that's it. This is Eric Tech Preacher. I like to make these fun videos every now and then just to have fun and show y'all guys. Look, I got a lot of devices that I could have put in, but unfortunately my table just probably go about right here. But uh, so, yeah, so, I, mean, I have you know, so many phones I, I, that I could have put I, in. I don't understand. Out. Like, I'm nervous in this video, right? I And I'm, I'm going to tell you one of the reasons why I'm so nervous in this video. Uh, and it's the end of the video. I'm going to tell you one of the reasons why I'm so nervous in this video. It's because I, I dropped a video of a refresh rate tester maybe earlier, a uh, couple of weeks or maybe a month before I made this video. And people destroyed me in the comments, especially when their beloved device doesn't do that well. So I made this video and I didn't release it. 
And it's probably because I, I'm sitting around. You could tell that this, I'm just nervous. I'm saying stuff like, oh, guys, this is a fun video. So don't get up tight. Like, and why am I saying that in the video? It's because I got destroyed making a video like this. Like this video, I got destroyed making a video similar to this video. Why? It's because their beloved device, when people watch these videos, it doesn't do that well. So people hit the comments and they go off they, and stuff like that. So I didn't drop this video. And that is so crazy. Like, you know, uh, I know now, it, trust me, I would have dropped the video now if I would have made it. But uh, I made this video in 2021 and I seem to be so nervous in this video. The mix here. But I just picked these phones randomly just to have some. Fun. See, look, I'm this nervous. Like I'm 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 in this video like I am nervous, like I'm about to freaking pass out. I'm so nervous. And why? Like, why? You know what I'm saying? I, I know why after thinking about it. Right. It's because I dropped a video of a refresh in this refresh rate in the past and people don't like them because their beloved device sometimes don't pass so I, I i didn't drop this video but listen i haven't i still do refresh rate i show y'all guys refresh rate uh in videos that i make but it is so funny man that i didn't why 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 I'm so nervous why i didn't drop the video like i believe it's a great video but i didn't drop the video and, and looking at it it just makes me think that uh, one of the reasons why I did drop this video is because I was just See freaking nervous. Look at that. Video. I'm like uptight. Relax, <laughs> easy. Relax. Like, relax, bro. Like, it's all good. But again, this was 2021. I, I started my YouTube channel in 2015. And listen, man, I, I'm still going through my growing pains. I mean, yes, man, after year, years and years later, I'm still going through my growing pains. Um, and this video, I can just tell I'm talking fast. I'm not relaxed. I'm this uptight. Why? Um, because I've dropped videos about refresh rates and, and people don't like them. Don't know why. Because when a beloved device doesn't hit the narrative that they're looking for, they get in the comments like keyboard warriors and they rip me to shreds. Uh, I'm a lot more wiser now than I was back then. But God, man, this just to look at me being an uptight and like, man, I freaking like I was about to oh, crap on myself or something, man. Jesus. Jesus. Listen, man, I, I after making almost 3,000 videos, I've learned that I, I, I you know, I'm, I'm a different person than I am back then in, between 2015 to 2021. You know, I started finding my way a little bit. and uh, But I got like 50-something videos that I haven't released uh, because not all videos meet my expectations and some videos like this video that I wanted to release, I just didn't want the blowback because I knew I was going to get it. How though? Um, I don't know. I have no idea. But people is really uptight about their beloved device. But now in 2024, going into 2025, I, that shit don't matter to me no more. But that just one of the things, man, that... This is one of the reasons why I go back and I'm doing reaction videos on myself because I just I, I can't find myself to in some of these videos. I wasn't relaxed. Why? This relax. It's all good. Oh man. If you'd like to see more reaction videos, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Man, I love this video. I should have released this video. It's freaking three years old. Four years old. Yes, this video is almost four years old. That's it's crazy insane. It was a great video. This is like the tech preacher. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the reaction video in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.